Hello my fellow crits, Princess Tartarian is here. Sorry I haven't been recording for a while and also uploading the drafts. <laughs> I, um, I got lazy. And also I ran out of, well also I'm trying to, let me rephrase it. I'm trying to do an upload schedule so like somewhere in 12pm mountain time is when I'm going to upload. However, I kept missing that mark, so... <laughs> um, anyway, we're gonna be continuing Doki Doki Lurch Club After Story. Um, burp, whatever. Psst, I forgot what it was called. Hey! <laughs> After this, I'm gonna need games for you guys to just say play, because, like, I don't have anything lined up after Doki Doki. <laughs> Oh, the side source. I am. Um, I'm not that smart. Alright, I believe we left off. But, like, we didn't do this one yet. So, we're gonna do this one. Balance. Become the side source? Yes. Natsuki is messing with the orientation of her manga in the closet shelf. Sayori approaches from behind and pulls her into an embrace. What? Hi. Hi. Nature Club has been in full swing since Natsuki joined, and including the club is now complete for four members. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. Each club member had received a day in the spotlight to share all of their favorite kinds of literature with each other. Natsuki was the first to share her passion of manga. Then Sayori shared her love of poetry as well as how she goes about writing it herself. Monica, who has multiple literary interests, decided to focus her day on short stories. And finally, Yuri managed to demonstrate her obsession with fantasy with a little help of and encouragement from Sayori. After a week was spent on their presentations, Monica decides to give the club members this next week to freely explore each other's literary, literary interests. Sayori, having spent most of her time in the club so far with Yuri's fantasy books, is rather excited to begin her journey into Natsuki's manga collection. I want to read a few today. Tell me which one I should pick. Uh, well... It depends on the kind of stuff you're into. I mean, there's romance, mystery, drama, comedy. I like all those things. So you reaches out and pulls a book at random from a shelf and expects a cover. Shouldn't this girl be wearing more clothes? It, you'll want to like that one. In a panic, Natsuki snatches the book from Sayori's hand then and replaces it on the shelf in a less conspicuous location. Okay, well, if you really have no preference, then let's start with something that's easy to get into. A lot of these don't start to get really good until, like, a few volumes in. And I wouldn't ask someone to make that kind of commitment unless they're already really into manga. I could handle it. I did it with Yuri's book, at least. Well, I'm more considerate than that. Well, I'm kind of impressed by your attention trying to feed that much interest into our books. No, I have the attention span of a donut. <laughs> attention span of a donut. 
but I love my friends, and I can do anything it is for them. Well, okay then. Let's pick you something that even donuts can read. I didn't say it was a donut. I had said I have the attention span of a donut. Ah, you just trying to call me sweet. You're so cute. N no! How did you get to that conclusion? Don't call me that. A donut? C cute. Ah, uh, how come? I just don't like it. I don't need a reason. That's okay, Yank. So, <laughs> did I just get bonked? Tsuki takes a book from the shelf and closes the closet doors. If someone asks you to stop, then you should just stop. People need to realize that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Nah. Sorry, it wasn't you. Tsuki shakes her head while putting a second chair over to her desk. I was talking about something else. I didn't mean to get all angry all of a sudden. Tsuki averts her gaze and mumbles. You're like well, I'm a nice person, so I wasn't talking about you. I still learned a valuable lesson. Sayuri so speaks softly as well, feeling shy after receiving the unexpected compliment. Well, anyway. Here's a book, so just start it whenever you feel like it. What's it about? Well, it's like a comedy. And there's romance too, obviously. Sorry, it looks at the title. It's called Love is Another World Word for Luck. a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guy and then you find out like well you should just read it but you have to tell me what you think I can already guess who you're gonna ship yourself with so it'd be funny if I'm right ship? I don't get it uh, never mind let's not worry about that yet just make sure you tell me what you think oh okay I'll start then Hey, maybe we, tomorrow we can do Torch too. Oh, um, yeah, I guess. But don't you want Ventures first? Yeah, but I could do both. I mean, unless you don't like poetry, then I won't make you do that or anything. No, it's just, well, never mind. We can worry about it tomorrow. After the club meetings and Sensuki and Yuri leave, Monica strikes up a conversation with Sayori. I see you and Atsuki got to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become a better friend of her. She's so enthusiastic and expressive. I could just listen to her talk. She's so cute. I I'm not sure if she meant I can say that to her or if I just can't say that at all. Say what? Nothing. I am a woman of respect. But Natsuki is a woman of cute. Oh, I said it. <laughs> What's so bad about that? I don't know. But you know, there's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Sometimes I'm afraid that Natsuki doesn't like me very much. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. How can you feel that way? Well, I mean, just little signs, like how she only says hi to me after I so say hi first. And it feels like she only gets decided to talk to me when it's about her manga and other stuff she likes. She seems dismissive a lot. She's she was like that when I brought up poetry. Yeah, but doesn't that yeah, but that doesn't mean she doesn't like you. She's probably just shy, you know? Maybe. <laughs> My stupid head is just making me worry for no reason. I like to do that. It's okay. Try not to worry so much. Everything will be great. But you can always talk to me about any concerns you have. I'm here to help. My cat just busted down the door. Or busted open the door. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> well, my drink's right there, but still. But you can always talk to me about any concerns that you have. I'm here to help. You're the best. Sorry, it gives Monica a quick hug. 
Well, I'm crying because I love her and I want to get closer to her. Sorry. <laughs> you caught this. After the next club meeting starts, Sayori is the last one in as usual. Trotting into the room, she sees Natsuki sitting alone by the closet, reading what must be manga. Without hesitation, Sayori pulls up a chair and plops herself down right next to Natsuki. Hello there! Hi. What are you, what are you reading? Can I read it with you? Natsuki pulls the book away from Sayori. You can't just start in the middle. There are spoilers! Besides, what about the one I gave you yesterday? Sorry, I was just curious. Well, anyway. I've been waiting forever so for this volume to come out. And it just came out yesterday, so... Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> I'll let you read it then. <laughs> Can I sit next to you, though? Uh, sure. Sorry pops herself down next to Natsuki, then pulls out a blank sheet of paper. Natsuki reads in silence, save for the periodic flutter of the page being released from beneath her thumb. From Sayori's side, only the light tapping noise could, of her pen meaning paper can be heard. Time passes. Sayori's paper is filled with scribbles and images aligned with stick figures. Natsuki lays out a deep sigh and closes her book. Did you finish? No. No, but it's a good stopping point. My head is swimming. I need a break. Natsuki stretches her arms. Aren't you bored? No, I was writing. Oh, I saw the sick figures. I just thought you were bored. I just draw those when I'm thinking you're waiting for inspiration. I made friends with them all. This one is sad because she thinks the night sky is pretty, but she can't look up at the stars in public without everyone thinking she's a weirdo. And this one has problems with his back, but the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. <laughs> what the heck? You weirdo. You want to read the poem with Yon? Sure, I guess. Sorry, slides the paper over to Natsuki. Natsuki reads through the poem, she furrows her eyebrows. Mm. She slides the paper back over to Sayori. <laughs> Don't you ever feel weird just sharing all of your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are, like, really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no, I was just being observant. I think people can get closer to each other if they find ways of expressing their feelings. Well, Natsuki begins to protest, but she can't find a good way of putting her thoughts into words. Doesn't that depend more on the kind of friends you have? I don't know. To each their own, but I've never met anyone I feel comfortable sharing my poems with. Not that it's you, it's just how I am, so... You write poems? You never told me that. I just thought you wrote other stuff. Yeah, that too, but you should... I mean, would you ever want to share? Like I said, I don't do that. But can we talk about something else? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It just makes me uncomfortable. I can't help it. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Well, let's move on to something that makes us both happy. I should continue the book you gave me yesterday since I didn't get very far yet. Sure. Over the next few days, Sayori begins each club meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthusiasm. It's Natsuki! Natsuki! At the end of the club meeting, Monica, who has become rather invested in Sayori's friendship mission, starts an unconscious conversation with Natsuki while she packs up. It's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Sayori. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah. I'm sure you've been enjoying the chance to share too, right? Yeah, mostly. Hmm? Natsuki glances over her shoulder, but doesn't reply any further. What's on your mind? Nothing. I don't talk about people behind their backs. Oh. 
I think he fell silent, but but she just fidgets instead of getting back to what she was doing. I thought she wanted to say more. It's okay to share your feelings. That's different from talking about someone behind their back. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back, so I'm better to so I'm better than to do it to others. Monica shares a bright smile. You're really considerate. Um, thanks, I guess, but I don't really feel like it. You can, trust me. Asuki stands in silence for a moment, still fidgeting. I just feel smothered sometimes. I'm not used to someone being, like, all over me right after we met. I mean, it's fun to hang out with her, but I just have no control over the pace. I can't just meet someone and instantly become best friends with them and, like, share everything about myself. That's not how it works. I just want to chill out sometimes. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. It's fine. Why would you have? I know. I just feel bad about it. I know it's Sayori, so we should have realized. Monica navigates through a tinge of guilt, which has surfaced mainly due to being the one who previously encouraged Sayori's behavior. Despite not knowing the situation, Monica can't help but feel a little responsible. Do you want me to talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, I could, I don't know. I could divert her into another club activity for you or something. No way! That would be underhanded and mean! Sorry. I didn't think that one through. Besides, just because I complained about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problems for me. True. I'm sorry. I guess I just instinctively want to try to solve problems, even if I haven't been invited to. It's fine. I would talk to Sayori about it, but it would make things really weird between us. I feel like it would just make her constantly be afraid of that she's bothering me. I don't know how to just keep things natural. Well, I think if you do a good job expressing all your feelings, she would totally understand. Sorry really wants to be the best she can be for other people. I think she would actually be happy that you want to improve your friendship with her. Maybe. Ugh, it just feels so dumb talking to someone about how to be friends with them. It's just weird and not cool. Monica shrugs. It's the literature club. She then mumbles through a stifled laugh. It's not the cool club. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, that's tickling me for some reason. Look, I know that you're kind of in a tough spot and that it's hard for you to really express yourself, but you've really demonstrated to me that you're great at self-reflection and critical thinking, even if it doesn't feel like it to you. I think that's the most important part of being able to navigate through these things. So I believe that you'll find the right thing to do. Well, Natsuki instinctively starts to reject the compliment, but she can't find any excuse to do so. Thanks. Natsuki gathers her things as she finishes her thought in a mumble. And I'm so glad I joined the club, even if it's weird sometimes. Monica smiles and Natsuki turns her back and walks away before waiting for a reply. It was an unusual way for Natsuki to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything was really going to be okay. Oh. We got some more music. Any new pictures? I do not think so. Aw, oh, dang it. Well, we will continue this in the next episode. And I will see you fellow crews next time. Bye-bye!